Hey guys, I wanted to put together a quick video uh, on how to use HP tuners with a two-step. Uh, I've noticed online that there's not a whole lot of information out on this for some reason. Uh, there's some reading you can do, but there's no real tutorials or video instructions on how to do it. So I figured I'd take a stab at it and just show you what I've figured out on my own. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is uh, scan your vehicle using the, the scanner and HP tuners. And you'll see in this area here, I've got a... Uh, hold on. Let's see if this works. I've got a uh, area that's flat here. Well, this, what this is is actually where my two-step is engaged. If you notice over here, the RPMs will not increase any more than about uh, 2,600, I believe. Somewhere in that range, 22 to 26. They just kind of bounce around. So what you want to do is go to your graphs, and you're want to going to want to see in your Spark Advanced Graph uh, if you don't know how to set that up, that's probably the first thing you're going to want to learn is how to set up a graph. But anyways, in your Spark Advanced Graph, you'll see these highlighted cells in that particular area. In my case, you'll see in mine, they're roughly in this area, which would be the cylinder air mass of 0.80 up to 1.12, and the RPM range of about 2.4 to 2. 4. 2.4, 2.8. In other words, 2200 to 2800 RPMs. So, this is the area that when your two step is engaged, that your timing needs to be altered in order to help you build boost uh, if you're having a hard time doing it. So, go to your scanner, open up your, your, uh, your spark table go to that area in my case I took 76 up to 96 zeroed it out what that does for me is it helps me uh, get onto the com uh, converter and get onto the rev I mean the uh, two-step uh, without adding power into the uh, the engine which helps the brake hold it a little bit better I'm just using foot brake so the zeroed out kind of robs some power out of it but what it does is it still helps it to build boost while not overpowering the brakes and you can see at about 1.00 1.00 up i've actually pulled it into uh, retard so at this point when it gets to this point it's pulling even more timing which is uh pulling a little more power and then it's uh, making it more or less uh, put more fuel into the, to the turbine area and helps pull the turbo a little better. A lot of people, they'll, uh, they'll go even further than this to the point that the engine's backfiring and popping and it builds uh, boost a lot faster, a bit more violent than what, what I want to do. Uh, but, I mean, people have great results doing it either way. So, back to the scanner. You'll see here, I'll go to the gauges. Uh, I'm going to play this slowly, but if you watch the boost gauge here, I'm going to start it from the very beginning. The way I do this in my my personal vehicle is when I start out, you know, keeping on the TPS gauge, the boost gauge, and the RPM gauge. When I start out, I kind of creep up on it. In other words, uh, I've got my, my foot firmly on the brake, and I'm just easing up into that power band of where the two-step stops me. Once I get to that point, and it's bounced off the two-step I open it wide open at that point even before I open it wide open I've already built almost four pounds of boost uh, the longer I hold it wide open the more boost it builds uh, and in this case roughly I think right at about eight pounds high seven somewhere in there before I let go uh, once again you can see where it's uh, the advance here is dropped in a retard it's not really making enough power to try to break the tires loose because of this RPM limit and the re retardation in the motor. So, uh, what you also want to do is go to your graphs and you want to figure out 
where you're at in your fuel in that area. Uh, again, just like a lot of information on the internet, you'll read something and there's people doing it a thousand different ways. Me personally, I added fuel in that same area. Instead of using cylinder air mass, you're just going to use your map. Uh, 100 and up is positive placement. So uh, in that area, I uh, just started adding a little more fuel to uh, hopefully get stuff rolling a little better. So if I can get this thing to open, my VE table, I did the same thing right in there. Uh, you're not going to use this area under normal driving. Uh, your cruise, you're going to be up in this area. Uh, you, you get in the boost, uh, chances are you're going to be more in this area. Uh, pay no attention to this ugly ass uh, VE table. This is a fairly fresh tune. I had to uh, change the operating system when I did the 4080E swap in this truck. So I'm still kind of ironing all this stuff out. But like always, it's never done. So, anyways, once again, uh, go to your graph, spark advance. Figure out where your two-step is engaging at. In my case, it's right here. Yours, it'll be, it'll show itself. Go adjust your timing in the in the uh, in the tables and uh, full timing, add timing, whatever you got to do to help it spool up, and uh, it should get you there. Uh, once again, guys, I I thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I'm no, by no means an expert on this. I just kind of I'm kind of learning as I go. And uh, feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section. And any tips you can give me are great. Maybe another viewer will see it. And uh, once again, thank you. Bye.